this is the first and the biggest research in Southeast Asia that is held in Tawuti Lake, Luo Timur Regency, South Sulawesi Province, Indonesia. The initiators are James Russell from Brown University in the United States of America and his friend Satria Bijaksana from Institut Teknologi Bandung, Indonesia. They are working so hard these past 10 years to prepare this research. That was back in 2005. Mm. So uh, we met uh, personally in uh, San Francisco, yeah. this is in 2000, December 2005. Yeah, the AGU meeting. AGU meeting. Yeah. And then we uh, start uh, exchanging uh, emails, I guess. And then uh, in 2007, we came to uh, Solaco to start uh, some preliminary uh, surveys with them. After we did the work in 2007, as the first surveys, that was when I think we both knew that these lakes were going to be drilled eventually. It might take eight years, might take two years, might take 15 years, didn't quite know. Uh, but we knew at that point there's really thick sediment in these lakes. After some surveys and research, James and Satria believe that Tohuti has a record of long history about climate. So many other lakes don't contain long records like Lake Tohuti behind me. This lake is in fact probably very unique in not just Indonesia, but in Southeast Asia for holding such long, continuous sediment records. This research project involves more than 40 researchers from many different countries. So yeah, I'm a palynologist, and so that means that I look at fossil pollen that is contained within the sediments. I'm working on uh, uh, lakes and lake sediments since nine years. I've, I've studied uh, different lakes in different climatic settings, so Tewuti is really the first lake uh, I study in a tropical setting. The previous lakes I studied were more in like uh, temperate climate zones or even in Arctic climate zones. Pada kesempatan ini saya diberikan kesempatan sebagai bar scientist, jadi nanti akan terlibat langsung dalam proses pengeboran di Danau Tewuti nanti. So I got interested um, because it's, I mean for me it's a really unique opportunity to come here, to visit Indonesia, to be part of such a big project, meet a lot of people also from the US, from Canada, from Germany, from many different countries. Gitu, jadi uh, terlibat dalam penelitian sudah banyak, namun untuk yang skala internasional seperti ini baru pertama kali. Saya melihatnya sebagai peneliti dari Indonesia, kita juga ingin banyak uh, orang Indonesia yang terlibat dan salah satu caranya adalah transfer ilmu juga dari peneliti-peneliti asing dengan dan saling bekerja sama uh, dalam uh, tat tataran yang sederajat. Support comes from everywhere, including from international institutions. James and Satria finally have their dreams come true in Tawuti Drilling Project. This is a dream, dreams come true. Sesuatu yang telah kita impi-impikan sejak 10 tahun yang lalu. Saya terus terang saya merasa apa ada sedikit perasaan bangga, cemas, terharu juga gitu loh. Bahwa sesuatu yang telah kita rencanakan sejak tahun 2005 masih sebagai wacana, kemudian kita lakukan tahun 2007 dengan survei kecil, kita mulai lagi dengan survei yang lebih besar 2000 kita melakukan workshop internasional tahun 2012 kemudian kita juga harus mengusahakan dapat pendanaan dari berbagai negara kemudian eh, masalah izin yang cukup panjang masalah logistik yang sedemikian berat eh, terus terang saya agak agak sedikit apa ya eh, excited tapi juga ada rasa apa ya semacam Percaya tidak percaya bahwa sesuatu yang telah kita, yang tadinya kita wacanakan bisa menjadi kenyataan. Finally starting. Uh, we shipped the equipment here in October. Uh, the equipment 
setting up the shipment required about uh, oh about 900 emails to set everything up. Uh, and we've been planning this project and planning how we would do this part of the project, the setup of the rig, for almost two years. Uh, and so it has been an enormous amount of work to get to this point. But now it's extremely exciting that we are finally ready to, uh, to begin uh, conducting the project. More than 400 tons of heavy equipment were shipped from the U.S., then being assembled by international drillers. Roughly 14 containers. Uh, six of those are modular floating um, barge units that we connect together to form one large platform. That platform will have dimensions of uh, 8 meters by 25 meters. And uh, then uh, we mount on top of that all of our drilling equipment. So uh, I'm sure you'll have shots of uh, the platform with the drill rig. Uh, you know, you're gone away from home for long periods of time. Um, it's hard work. Uh, you're working outside in the elements, whatever those elements will be for that day, you've got to deal with them. Uh, and um, what we do is we, we, with some of our work in the United States, that allows us to try to find out which guys would be best suited to come on these projects. Uh, you know, we don't, uh, we don't do rotations on these jobs. There are so many parties involved, like mining company, Pete Vale Indonesia, that is located near to the research location. So in terms of if we want to um, value this, quantify the value, probably it's in the range of 125,000 US dollars. There are three drilling sites that will be the main focus of this drilling project, where in each drilling site there will be various drilling holes. The research team and the drilling team work simultaneously 24 hours a day for two months, even though their work didn't go as smooth as it's planned. It's just a very long set of problems now. Now after that pump was, uh, was uh, installed, basically, so the first thing that went really bad is the main pumps that power the entire drilling rig broke. That took two weeks to uh, get new pumps and another few days to install them. Uh, after that, as soon as the, the, almost the hour after we got uh, the pump installed, the main hose that's on top of the drilling rig that sends uh, a fluid down into the bottom of the lake to clean away the, uh, the cutting debris, that broke. So that took another day and a half, two days, to uh, get a replacement hose from Jakarta. Uh, after that, we continued having problems with the mud pump. Uh, this is, again, the water pump, the mud pump. It sends pump, pumps fluid down into the bottom of the hole to clean out the debris. Uh, you can't really drill without it. Uh, we also use it actually to build up pressure to shoot the hydraulic piston core, so we really can't core without it. Uh, so that had a problem, and that took a couple days really to resolve itself. But after about, I would guess, maybe three weeks or so of really not doing anything to shut down, we, we managed to start drilling again. And we got, um, we got about a week and a half of really good drilling. After issues and problems, the researchers finally get what they wanted, the mud, as they planned before. So, you know, in terms of the overall objectives, uh, not only did we get those two primary objectives fulfilled, these two sites, the different cores from them, but we managed to drill a few cores from the third site. So, yeah, we got everything we wanted. And I guess the other thing that I'm kind of happy is that the participation of uh, young scientists, yeah. both uh, Poems and Indonesians, and they, it seems like this uh, drilling project, you know, basically. Uh, prepare them for, for international collaborations with, uh, with people from different uh, backgrounds and it's kind of nice. They saw the enthusiasm and I guess yeah. we're looking forward to have these young scientists help us <laughs> <laughs> and the light is ending this. The mud from Tawuti drilling project will be brought to a laboratory in the U.S. to have further research. It will take around five years or more to reveal the history from layer to layer of mud. 
An, an analogy I like to use, yeah, imagine you're reading a history book. Every time you turn a page, you're learning something new about history. You're going forward in time or backward in time. What we do is we take the sediment core and you can think about each layer of sediment being like that book. It's, it's telling you something about what the environment, what the history of the lake was like at some point backwards in time. Mungkin kami bisa cerita mengenai iklim daerah ini sampai satu juta tahun yang lalu. Itu yang, yang uh, kita harapkan. We can learn the climate from millions of years ago in this place. That is what we aim at. No matter how long it would take to reveal the secret of climate history that is kept under Tawuti, we really can't wait for it. This research will help human beings predict the future through what happened in the past. Thank you.